Hi there everyone, welcome to their class creatives course. This course will cover environment concept art. I'll focus on more of the design aspects of concept art from research and design thinking, the whole sketching process, and then finally you'll be fleshing out your designs. The focus of this topic will be on three quarters inter interior environments, where we will cut away the facade of the building to reveal what is inside. Here are a few examples of cutaways. Shop in it. Separate room, conference room, maybe. Yeah, here you can see my personal portfolio, and honestly, I have around 20 or so pieces in here. I think it's really this section here that have landed me most of my jobs. So, yeah, this art is what uh, I showed to PlayStation and what's got, what got me hired. All but these props, and these are new. These are only a year old. <laughs> I should really keep this updated. It's important to keep your portfolio fresh, but unfortunately, I can't show my art from work, so I have to do more personal work, I guess. Anyway, this is what you can expect your portfolio to look like as an entry level concept artist. Many will be better than this, so it's important to create a focused grouping of works. I'm an environment artist and prop guy myself, so that's what I showcase. Do scenes and then do call outs, breakaways from it. You can see here. <clears throat> yeah, I have a few characters, but it's not really focused on characters as much. These, it's more uh, about the armor or the costuming. I like to design, I like to design armor. Really fun, but I don't worry about expressions or poses. I only worry about pose to show off the armor design itself. So, yeah, okay. Back to what we will be covering in this concept artist course. The power of the three cut, three quarter cutaway is showcasing as much of the design as possible. As you can see here, you have X. Y and Z planes all pretty much equal here. Your design philosophy and thinking will be on full display here because you're focused on making a functional working design that can easily be translated and built by the 3D artist, but we will get into that later. This course is geared more for beginners as an introduction into concept art and design. We'll go over the basic topics like research, design thinking, uh, perspective, and by the end, you should have a space all laid out. The main takeaways will be the mindset of the concept artist, especially the initial research and, and ideation phases. But we'll also be going over Photoshop and the basics you can utilize to create your concepts smoothly and efficiently. If you've never even opened Photoshop before, don't worry. I was there once myself, grew up drawing, and then 23 years old, introduced to Intuos and Photoshop and digital art, so we'll get into all that. And then in future courses, we'll cover how to take your well thought out layout you've made and turn it into an entertaining design that showcases story elements and a sense of lifestyle and mood. We'll also give it an art pass with a focus on cleaning up lines, giving it line weight and value here and there to create focal points and depth. And eventually, you can dabble in rendering the design with photo textures and paint overs. After learning what we can do in Photoshop, maybe we'll even dive into building and rendering in 3D, perhaps Splendor. But that will be for a later course. For now, let's focus on the foundations and crucial, crucial stage to create a highly functional and fun-looking design. For this course, you will need Photoshop. I suggest CS5 or higher. I'll be using Photoshop CC myself and preferably a tablet of some kind. I have an Intuos Medium Pro, it's called. But well, you can really use anything, an iPad or Surface, anything that can run Photoshop. <clears throat> yeah. For those interested in finding out what Constant is all about, then this course is for you. So let's get started.